mixed with the sounds of daily life, Baltimore streets ring with a distinctive melody. It's the traditional call of air rabbers. That's the name for fruit and vegetable vendors that sell their produce on horse-drawn carts. At only 25, BJ has been air rabbing most of his life. He starts his day by loading his cart with local freshly bought produce, carefully arranged by color. I got a cabbage, I got collard greens, I got string beans. With veteran Lala by his side, the men head off on what could be an 11 mile walk. When we finish, that's when we get on the horse. The work ain't done till, that's when you know it's done, when we get on there and ride. We're coming home. First stop, regular customers' homes, hey, mostly doing, seniors who can't walk to the All market. Right. But they're happy to sell to anyone who wants to buy, offering their goods door to door and even to passing cars. It's convenient, it comes to you. Don't have to go out and get it. <laughs> Though the origin of the word is unclear, air abbing has been around for centuries, but in recent years it has struggled to stay alive. Stables have been shut down for building code violations, and animal rights activists claim the horses are poorly treated. With air abbing on the edge, Daniel Van Allen decided to set up a preservation society. We've gone in the past few years from one to two wagons after one of the stables was shut down for urban renewal and back up to eight wagons out on the street and hopefully we'll have four more wagons out on the street next year. That's welcome news for BJ, who says his love for the job has kept him out of trouble. Oh, I'm gonna keep on going till I can't walk no more. We gonna be around, we ain't going nowhere. It's been around over 100 years. <laughs> you shouldn't go nowhere. <laughs> In an age where more people are getting goods home delivered, this centuries-old trade seems on the road to a revival.